I'm Summer and today I'll be showing you 21 outfits that I've created for spring. Let's get into it. Okay, uh, this outfit is very fun. We're loving the patchwork trend right now. I'd probably just wear this to like lunch with my friends or even go take Instagram pictures beforehand. But these shoes are Doc Martens. They are the creeper style. And then we have the Nasty Gal patchwork denim. These are really comfortable. I like baggy jeans over skinny jeans or cropped. And then I'm wearing this Jaded London patchwork top. It has a lot of fun different fabrics patched together. These necklaces are Vitali. This purse is Pita and Jane. I really like this liquid latex look right now. And these creeper sunglasses are Princess Polly. And this is my look. <laughs> I know this outfit may polarize people, but I saw this outfit on my explore page and clearly it got my attention. At first I was like, ew, brown and green, like that's like Shrek vibes, like ogre, also shaggy from Scooby-Doo. But then when I kept looking at it, I was like, honestly, that's really cute. So I thought I'd recreate it. Sheer is very in for spring. Um, this top is from Forever 21, and the bralette is from Princess Polly. These amazing brown baggy jeans are from The Crypt, and I love them so much. They come in white and black. They're really comfy. And the docks, clearly Dr. Martin, the creeper style extra platform always but yeah and my fake Louis Vuitton hi <laughs> and my Amazon five dollar glasses let me know what you think about this outfit like I kind of hate it but I also really love it so okay here is a very trendy outfit that I it wouldn't be my first choice I'd say this is a very TikTok geared outfit. Like I'd wear this in a TikTok outfit as opposed to on my Instagram, but she's really fun. We threw on these bright green Nasty Gal Croc boots, these crypt jeans that I'm in love with. You can adjust the hole on the knees or you can open them like all the way. If you want to show off more leg, I think it's very edgy and fun. And this is a crypt chain as well, attached on the side. This is a Revolve, I'm pretty sure it's a super down mesh top. Second skin is a big trend for spring. And then I threw on this Princess Polly bralette underneath with a Pita and Jane purse. And of course I'm wearing my favorite chains, but yeah. I'll probably hate this outfit and like, like right when I upload this video, but it's okay. <laughs> This outfit is very schoolgirl, kind of e-girl anime vibes. We've got this fluffy chain purse from Boohoo. She's pretty old. There might not be a link for her. This sweater vest is from Revolve. And we have this button down t-shirt dress from Nasty Gal and these amazing heart boots from Lamoda. I love these. They're platform, extra chunky to give me that height. I also have them in a all black pair to match with everything, but I couldn't resist this fun heart print because you guys know I love hearts. I've got a heart on my sleeve. Had to have them in my boots. Here's a very dressy yet casual outfit. We've got these Ray sandals from Revolve. I absolutely live in these. I style them with everything spring right now. Okay, and then for the jeans and top, they're both lioness. I love this chain detail on the hips with the cutout. Looks really cute on the body, yaddy, yaddy. And then we've got the open back. This top is silky, very sexy. I think it can be worn two ways, but I like it crisscrossed. And of course, we paired her with a nylon Pita and Jane bag and just chunky chains, of course. Yeah, just a comfy but super sexy outfit. Okay, this is my 
Chico inspired look. We've got the Lamoda platforms on. So obsessed with these. These amazing slit high waisted black leather pants from Nasty Gal. They fit me like a glove. I'll show you the back side. They fit so well. And they pair perfectly with these shoes. Like, I don't know any other shoes that would look good with these pants, so you have to wear them together. And this little crop top is from Forever 21. And this jacket is Nasty Girl. I was a bit apprehensive to put on this green jacket because the material's very different. I've just never seen this color of green styled. But I think the outfit really goes together, like I said, modern day she go, going to the club type beat. All right. <laughs> so I'm so, so obsessed with this dress. It's from Expired Girl, which is a female owned small business in Korea. Absolutely love the shape of her. I never really wear midi dresses, but those are supposed to be very popular for spring. So I'm trying to add them and build them into my closet. But the fun part is she's actually reversible. So if you flip her around, you've got two dresses in one, which is really fun. And then we're wearing these Nasty Gal green croc boots. I know this is kind of a controversial pairing right now, but I really want to expand my outfits into more fun, colorful, groovy vibes since everybody's bringing back the 70s and 80s because we've been stuck inside all day. We want to wear fun outfits and just really explore our personalities. So I thought this would be a really fun outfit to dive into that. And of course we added a latex little Pete and Jane bag to match the black lining underneath. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck I'm wearing this to. Whole Foods, the club, to steal your man, I don't know. Okay, this next fit is very outside of my comfort zone. I'm wearing a cat suit from Revolve. I've never owned one. She's got a cute back. And she makes my ass look pretty good. I love the lining right here on the crotch. It goes all the way towards the back. And then we've got Aloha's square toed heels. This blazer is from Shop Rebrand, but it's been discontinued. I think it's like a year old. There's buttons falling off. She's my favorite oversized blazer. And then this Princess Polly zebra underbag. Don't really know where I'd wear this outfit. Probably to dinner, take some cute pics in, get drinks with the girls, and that's it. All right, hello, 50 Shades of Chocolate. I absolutely love these leather pants. They're from Nasty Gal. They fit me perfectly. They have a slit on the inside, so you can wear heels or platform boots like I am. These are also from Nasty Gal. Um, they're the same as those green croc boots that I have, just in nude. And this top is Princess Polly. It's actually from my Princess Polly edit. She's super soft. She's got padded sleeves right up here. And she ruches on the side so you can adjust how tight you want it. You can make it longer or more cropped, whatever you want. And these are rock eyewear from Princess Polly as well. And I'm really into this bag shape right now. This is similar to the Prada, but it's also the Clio kind of like mixed together with that latex look. And I just love this color for spring. Just will match a lot of my outfits. And honestly, I don't know where I'm gonna wear this. Probably shopping or brunch, you know, just out on the town if the world ever opens again. Okay, this outfit is super comfy. I wore it to Target the other day and it's just very casual and like loose, but you still look very put together. We've got these chunky mid-calf boots from Nasty Gal. 
obviously very comfortable, but still chic and stylish. And then we've got this oversized button down dress. It's actually all from Nasty Gal. You guys know I love Nasty Gal. I've been working with them for over a year now. I have an edit coming up with them soon. I'm super excited to debut it. But this sweater I'd say is a fall color for sure. This olive green. But I look at this as a fall transition, like fall to spring outfit, considering it's a dress, but it's still warm with a sweater. And then this is a slouchy bag from Pete and Jane. I'm not sure if it's still online, but I love her. Very Y2K vibes, and she matches everything. Okay, this is a very edgy, sassy outfit. We've got these Lamoda platforms on. I absolutely love anything Lamoda. Everything is chunky and makes me super tall. And we've got these crypt cutout jeans. The cut of these are so cool. And it goes over to the side. They're very sexy. They fit me really well. Got a raw hem. And then this top is from Jaded London. She's the reverse stitch trend going on with the big sleeves. And then I'm wearing a Nasty Gal bralette underneath with a Pete and Jane little bitty bag. But I think this outfit's kind of groovy, but also like sexy, like biker vibes on the bottom. Okay, hi Lizzie McGuire, all grown up. She's back, we've got platform thong sandals. I never thought I'd be wearing these at 23 years old. I don't think I even wore them when I was little, like I couldn't even afford them. But here we are, they're super cute. You guys know I love platforms. Um, they're from Forever 21, this whole outfit is Forever 21. I saw these striped green pants and thought of Lizzie McGuire and then I was like, okay, we gotta get some sandals. And then I found this fun little sweater typed long sleeve top. This <laughs> little sweater type thing. I don't even know what this is called. Um, and then these are rock sunglasses. <laughs> Anyways, my younger self would wear this outfit. And that's why we're wearing her today. All right, this is my O2 rocker chick vibe. I have worn this jacket to the literal ground. It's older IMG. I absolutely love it so much. I got my heart barbed wire tattoo because of this jacket. I'm just really into the cascading barbed wire all around it. And it's just the perfect cropped biker jacket. So love her. And these are vintage high-waisted Levi's. They're actually the only pair of shorts that I own. I know, I just don't like wearing shorts. I hate like how my legs look in them. Unless I'm wearing platforms, platform boots like these. They are La Moda. I show you guys the pink heart ones. Now these are the plain ones that go with everything in my closet. They add a really cute, sassy edge to all my outfits. And then we've got my amazing Prada, the Clio, and this vintage Harley Davidson cutoff tee. It's from a shop Rebel Flow. Um, but yeah, this is just like a really fun, sassy outfit. This was the first outfit I put on after I got my extensions done. And I don't know, I just transformed into like a rocker chick for some reason. And this is her. Okay, this might be one of my favorite, most creative outfits out of all of these. Um, these jeans are from Jaded London. They are actually curtain material, or I guess couch material? I don't even know. They look like grandma's couch, or like the curtains draped across her windows, but um, I paired them with Doc Martens and this vintage reworked top. I think the sleeves were like stitched on afterwards, but the top is actually vintage and she's really fun. She's got a great cut. Shows off your hourglass. Of course, this Pita and Jane purse. I don't know where I'd wear this to. This is kind of a crazy outfit. If I was going to maybe an art museum, I think this would be a really cool outfit. Like I'd look like a work of art. This next outfit is giving me, as Julia would say, 
Polly Pocket or Barbie vibes, we couldn't really decide. I really want to start incorporating more color into my closet. I was buying a lot of all white, black, very minimal, kind of boring colors. And like I said, we all just want to wear like really fun outfits that scream bright and like happiness and just like leave living indoors in like sweats and loungewear, you know? So we've got these cute little platforms from Forever 21. I also have them in black. They go with literally everything and since they're platforms, they are very comfortable. And then we've got this Itty Bitty mini skirt from My Princess Polly Edit. She's a linen and I love lavender for spring. It's just a very cute, calm color. And then this little cardigan is from Forever 21 as well. And we've got a Pete and Jane. This is a dupe of the newest Gucci shape. It's so cute, very affordable. We love her. And I don't know, guys. I don't know where you would truthfully wear this outfit because the skirt is really small and I feel very revealing, but it's cute for pictures. So we're gonna leave it at that. Just enjoy the outfit for what it is. <laughs> okay, this next outfit is lunch with my girls in the city kind of sex in the city vibes this dress is very comfortable i can walk around in it all day and so are these boots they are from revolve their song of style they also come in black and white but i was in love with this tan and white pairing the dress is a with jean dupe i'm sure you guys have seen this dress all over instagram in green and orange Luckily, Forever 21 had it at a more affordable price, and this one's a little more form-fitting. I love how it makes my hourglass shape accentuated, I guess. And we've got another Pete and Jane bag. Pretty much every bag I own is Pete and Jane. They have really great designer dupes at an affordable price, so that's why they're all that brand. But yes, this is my bad bitches at lunch, and then we're going designer shopping afterwards look. All right, once again, low rise. These are IMGA pants, and they're made out of a legging type material, so they're super soft, and you can adjust them on the sides, show a little skin, and then we've got some kitten heels from Aloha's on. I'm pretty sure they're Bottega Veneta uh, dupes, but they're really comfortable. And I think they pair well with these cut of these pants. And then this top is a lioness. I absolutely love the way she frames my body. This crisscross right here on my chest just really compliments the girls. So that's a plus in my book. We love her and just giving major Y2K vibes. I'm all here for the revival. Like, I think it looks good on me, so I'm hopping on the trend, whether you guys like it or not. Let me know if you guys like it in the comments down below. Personally, I think it looks cute. You just gotta find what pieces and styles look best on you, and you can rock it too, I promise. All right, so this outfit is a lot, I realize but I'll be wearing this in Miami soon and I thought it was an outfit worthy of sharing. Um, I'm wearing just classic black underwear underneath. Um, they're seamless and I'm wearing actually a black bikini top turned inside out from Lally and Layla. And of course my brand new gorgeous Cleo Prada bag, we love her. And this amazing mesh dress is from Nasty Gal. It also comes in a bodysuit, and I just thought this was a great Miami vibe. It's really fun, and I paired it with these amazing LaModa heels. I feel like a real life brat stall. These make me so tall, but they're so comfortable. I love them, and they go with so much. They're perfect for clubbing and just a night out and making you look like a supermodel. This fit is very cool girl, casual, business casual, like ultra business casual is big for spring. You know, we're moving from working from home to going back outside slowly. So we're all gonna be wearing very loose fitting clothes. And I love wearing 
these menswear like wide leg pants are very comfortable and these hit right at my waist and um, just accentuate everything but I'm so comfy knowing I look dressed up and then we've got this forever 21 bralette and button down set it's actually made out of the same material which I thought was really cute and we've got these sandals from Revolve. I have been living in them. They match with pretty much everything that I have for spring right now. And these chunky sandals just say like, easy, cool girl, effortless. Like I'm not really trying. I tried, but you can't really tell. Of course, my Clio bag, some creeper sunglasses. I forgot to say, these are from Zara, by the way. Zara has the best menswear pants. Very comfy. I see myself grabbing like a quick bite in the city in this outfit. Here's another New York kind of chic vibe. We've got the button down dress. I think I've styled this twice in this video, three times. I don't know. I've worn it so many times this week and I've worn it like five times in my styling videos. I really, really love this dress. It's just so effortless and I can just throw it on and feel dressed up. And then I threw this white sweater vest from Nasty Gal. Both of them are from Nasty Gal. And of course, so is this leather jacket. Uh, this is older Nasty Gal though. I don't think you'll be able to find it, but I'm definitely going for an all white spring vibe here and these amazing Song of Style cowboy boots and this nude Pita and Jane bag. Okay guys, that is it for my 21 outfits video. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you loved all my outfits. Be sure to comment what you think down below. And if you're not already, follow me on my socials at Summer Rachel Warren. Let's hang out, DM me. Love you guys. See you next time.